Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So I've come out in my van for a bit of photography. I'm almost certainly going to camp over tonight. I wasn't going to but this, this spot is so beautiful I think I'll just end up staying. But do you know when you pack your bag to go out for a bit of photography? Oh, well, I don't know about you but for me it's more or less it's usually led by the weather which is typical because it's one thing we can't control. I'm sure some of you will relate to this. Where do you go when the weather is everything. <laughs> and when I say everything, let me just uh, read you the headlines for the weather today here in the uh, the mountains. Chilly, blustery, changeable with heavy showers, risk of thunder, winds tending to strengthen to 45 miles per hour after dark, risk of snow on the high tops, sunshine, showers, everything, literally everything. So because of that mixed weather report, I've ended up here in this beautiful valley and maybe I'll get lucky and get a moment of beautiful light or maybe it'll just be a complete washout. Definitely gonna be a day for waterproofs, I think. So from around about this area, we have two potential images. So as it stands, neither of these two images work because the conditions aren't right. So it's going to be a game of patience. Now what I'm hoping for is a shower to come blowing down this valley, a really heavy rain shower, which will no doubt soak me through, but that's fine. And then as the shower passes, hopefully we'll have all of that moisture, all of those particles in the air, we'll get sunlight, which should flood this valley full of atmosphere. It's all wishful thinking, really, but that's what photography is. It's definitely a game of patience and chance, and that's why I love it. So we'll just wait here and see what happens. All right, we could be on. The, uh, the sun is coming out and it's raining, which is like a magical <laughs> combination. Uh, we'll see, but it's just gonna be brief. The sun will probably be gone before I finish this sentence. Yeah, there we go, light's gone. But always good to get prepared. So I've just framed up my composition and I'm not happy. <laughs> I put on the 24 to 70 and even at 70 mil, I find myself wanting to go longer because there's this footpath just here. Now my initial instinct, my initial idea was to get this wide, almost like a pano of the valley with the river running from the corner down into the distance. But alongside the river is this perfectly straight, distracting footpath and I don't like it. So I'm looking at the scene, I'm thinking, okay, well, what am I attracted to here? And beyond the footpath, the river has this beautiful curve. And just beyond the curve, you've got the crisscross of the hills in the distance. And that's what I want to frame. So that's an important thing to remember when framing up a composition. And that is that what you leave out is just as important as what you put in. So even with the 100, 400, I can't manage to get rid of this footpath. However, as I speak, there is a figure walking on the footpath. So I'm actually going to shoot this now and that just that and it's a little bit of cheating here but my idea is <laughs> if we get the light and the atmosphere the addition of that single person on the footpath is going to give it context it's going to give it scale so it's going to be a composite now it's just a case of leaving everything and waiting well you know it's what landscape photographers do isn't it sit on a freezing cold hillside waiting nothing happens and then we leave disappointed. <laughs> but every now and again, something does happen. And when that something happens, well, it makes everything worthwhile. You know what, we don't have the atmosphere which would come from a heavy rain shower, but I tell you what, the light is beautiful. I'm actually happy with this as it is, but I'm still gonna be hanging around for that rain shower. Yeah, I've kind of got it in my head now. It's almost certainly not gonna happen, but it would be nice. Yeah, it certainly would have been nice, wouldn't it? But I think we all know it's not happening. And as time goes on, conditions become flatter and duller, which actually leaves me feeling really grateful for the image that I did 
capture. Well, that was a shame we never got the conditions we wanted. Now, you might be wondering why on earth I'm putting my seatbelt on, because <laughs> this is a beautiful park up. Um, well, there's really no point in me staying here because there's, I don't think there's anything here for me in the morning, not with the current weather conditions. Basically, it's set to get a lot worse. So I'm probably gonna head off. I, I don't know, I'm really fancying going to an open space like the coast, and I've never really done the west coast. And besides that, Oh, I've lost my keys. Ah, we have neighbours. I thought it was a bit too good to be true having this place to myself, but uh, we've got a couple more vans pulled up, so uh, yeah, I think I'll move off and see if I can find somewhere that will give me more potential for tomorrow morning. Just approaching my park up for the evening and I'm anticipating lots of vans. <laughs> Let's have a look and see. I mean, it would be amazing if I was the only one there. Ooh, but I don't think I've ever seen it empty. Oh, hang on. <gasps> oh, yes. This is empty. Okay. All right, welcome to camp for the evening everybody. Very pleased that I'm the only one here so should have a peaceful night's sleep ready for tomorrow morning's photo shoot. But before I discuss that, I need some food. Nothing fancy for tea tonight, just let's have a look. <laughs> they are very lazy, reduced to clear a chicken Jamaican patty, some fresh bread, and some already made chicken drumstick, drum, 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 drumsticks. So all I need to do is warm everything up. So I did mention before that I was thinking of going to the coast because of the weather and what I fancied, but then I realized it's probably not a good idea to drive to a location that you've never been before and arrive in the dark. Chicken doesn't fit in this pan at all. So tomorrow looks like sunshine and showers, but actually it looks uh, mostly sunshine, uh, some showers in the morning. So I think tomorrow what I'm going to focus on is trees, backlit trees. I'm going to try and find some shadows for the background, some backlit trees. If we get rain showers, and especially if those trees are wet, they'll be glistening. Um, so I'm gonna go to this crag where at the top of the crag there's lots of trees. It should be beautiful. I've got a good in idea in mind of the type of image that I want, but not specifically an image. I'm gonna try and stay open-minded because that's always my mistake is I get fixated on one thing and then I just end up being, well, miserable. And what I have to remember is that actually, it's quite rare that everything comes together and you get a, a beautiful dream image. And sometimes I feel like I'm having a dry spell, but then, you know, I always always think back to a famous quote <laughs> by Ansel Adams, which is if you get a 12 good images in a year, or 12 keepers in a year, that's a good crop. And the important thing is that you just get out and have fun, you know, just enjoy being out and ah, eating chicken in the van. Oh, so that is me pretty much settled in for the evening. I've got my laptop, I'm gonna do some emails, do some web browsing and maybe watch a film, all the while trying not to click on any dodgy links or anything like that. Not that I would, but if I did, it'd be fine. 
because I use NordVPN, which just so happens to be the sponsor of this video. How is that for a segue? Oh, I'm getting good at this. Now, NordVPN comes with an abundance of benefits, but by far the best for me is their malware protection, their online security. So, for example, have you ever heard of a thing called malvertising? It's basically malware advertising. So you see this clickbait advert slash article you know this woman has a life hack and loses 20 stone and becomes a millionaire and then you click on it well what you're actually doing is you're not clicking on an advert you're clicking on a, a malicious link which is going to give hackers access to your computer your information and, and then it's just not good from there on in but with NordVPN installed on your device they block all ads but they also scan all links for malware so you're very very well protected now if you're considering NordVPN you can get an exclusive deal at nordvpn.com forward slash heaton and it's pretty much risk-free because you get a 30-day money-back guarantee so a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video I'm gonna relax now I've got to, actually got a film on this laptop uh, it's called a wing and a prayer and it's about an airplane passenger who has to fly and land a plane after the pilot dies. True story, apparently. So I'm going to sit back, relax, enjoy this, and all the while keep my fingers crossed for some nice light and good photography tomorrow morning, which I am. I'm, I'm feeling good, feeling confident. So we'll see. All right. I'm going to enjoy the film. Well, good morning everybody as the weather forecast predicted things are changeable <laughs> it's cold it's really windy but then we have these brief moments of calmness in between and the light is just coming in and out every time I look around the distant landscape I see different patchworks of light so yeah I think it's gonna be a nice morning I don't know if I'm gonna get a photograph this morning but it's beautiful being out um, yeah Really happy to be out. Let's just see if we can get a nice image today. I, don't, I wasn't, I'm not sure about the one I took yesterday. So we'll see how we go. So I seem to be taking a bit of a stoic approach to my photography this morning in that I'm really not stressing and my thinking is when an image comes it will come I'm not going to try and force it and just behind me I've spotted something that I find quite interesting now whether or not I can make an image of it and compose the elements in an orderly fashion I don't know but I'm going to have a look anyway so as you can see the sun has just popped out. <laughs> I'm not even sure if we're visible. Oh man. Yes, um, the sun has just popped out and I'm gonna have to move you, hang on. Apologies for that. Uh, <laughs> all of the, the flare on the lens meant I couldn't, you couldn't see, can you even still see me? I don't know. Anyway, I found this composition. I'm really not sure it's gonna work as a photograph, but the subject was interesting enough for me to explore it with the camera. And that is this fallen silver birch tree. And the way that it's fallen means that part of the tree is leaning against another tree. And those two parts are intertwined, those two tree trunks. So it looks like they're entangled in a dance of some sort. And that was interesting. And then I start to look at the bigger picture and noticed another birch tree in the background, which kind of pulled everything together it was another element within the photograph i'm kind of reserving my judgment at the moment we'll see but i mean i love the elements and the fact that the sun's just come out backlighting the trees with a dark background i can shoot this without the sky and that's exactly what i wanted that's what i said yesterday in the van that i was hoping for backlit birch trees and this little scene is beautiful i don't know if it's going to work but it's well worth shooting so the way I'm shooting this is at f11. I'm focusing on the intertwined trees, which is the closest subject in the frame. 
Now, usually when I shoot woodland scenes, I like to shoot at a wide aperture so everything beyond goes really soft. But actually, in this instance, there isn't a great deal beyond these trees. I've got my tree in the background, my secondary tree. Um, and I actually want that to be quite sharp. You know, I'm not worried if it falls into softness, which it will, but I don't want it to be completely blurred out. So F11 should give me sufficient sharpness through to that tree. And then beyond that, we're probably about a kilometer away and it's the other side of the valley. So that's about it. Nice and straightforward. Uh, no need for any filters or anything. It's purely about composition. Hopefully it'll be a pleasing image. Yeah. So I've just been distracted by uh, some sort of raptor hovering above my head. <laughs> Can't film it. So again, I find myself in a situation where something has caught my eye, but whether or not it's gonna work as an actual photograph, <laughs> I don't know. But everywhere, all around me, all the trees are bare. Spring has yet to spring. <laughs> yeah, they're basically, there's no leaves on any of the trees. Apart from this one tree behind me, which is just getting its first growth of spring, and it's so vibrant and so green, and it's backlit by the sun. So we kind of have this shower, this explosion of these lime green medallions on this tree. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's quite nice, but there are a few problems with this image. One, the main problem is there's this band of rock in the background, this crag, and it's this dark strip that cuts right through the image. And as well as it being quite distracting, it's not level. So it throws, when you have a level camera, it throws the whole image. It looks like my camera's wonky. So what I'm actually having to do is purposefully tilt my camera so that it's aligned with this crag in the background. And then of course I feel like the image is lacking composition and structure, although I'm hoping that the green, the luminosity of those green leaves will be strong enough to kind of complete this image because without that it's literally it's just, just putting my camera at some trees, so there's nothing to it, literally nothing to it. Um, so it's all about the colour. Will that come across in the image? Man, I don't know. If not, it doesn't matter. It's, um, it's always good to get out and follow your intuition when you're in the field. You know, don't be afraid of trying things, even if they don't work. So let me see, let me know in the comments, does it work or, or not? <laughs> Well, it's been a good morning. And to top things off, I even saw a red squirrel. Actually, I'm turning into a, a bit of a red squirrel. I need a shave. Mm -hmm. 